Bob Scott. Good at you. Uh, Jalen sent in some money for me to listen to some Dials of the Star. Uh, <laughs> oddly enough, I just saw a comment online from Dials of the Star on Hyper Pop Daily. Uh, apparently I was mentioned because uh, my review of Active Devin, uh, one of the, his tracks, got posted to Hyper Pop Daily, and <laughs> the guy called me that guy from YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> which was pretty funny, but I now follow Hyper Pop Daily, which is kind of cool. Uh, Snoop in the comments, or from the comments, thank you for uh, letting me know about that. I appreciate it. And uh, we're going to listen to another track that Jalen recommended from Dials the Star. I've got a couple more suggestions from uh, Jalen uh, for Dials the Star. Uh, the first one is this one, I Rain, as in tears. Oh, and last song was Crying Blood that I just did. Uh, produced by Lockage. I assume it's Lockage and not Lockage. Uh, so let's check this out. 2 minutes 18 seconds. Uh, hip hop and rap came out 7 months ago. Hey, there are lyrics down here. Oh yeah. Let's check it out. Uh, Irene from Dials the Star. I got a lot on my mind. I've been moving too fast. I don't watch our see me behind. So I'ma hit the gas. Feel like they're the first and I'm always the last. Oh. That voice is so good. Also, the beginning part is just fucking heartbreaking. Uh, if you couldn't hear it, it was a little kid crying and calling the police and reporting the domestic disturbance. Obviously, mommy and daddy were fighting. And, uh, ugh, yikes. But, uh, man, what a voice. Comes in, it's just absolutely beautiful and clear like a bell. Just love it. Love it. Hey, luck is I got a lot on my mind. I've been moving too fast. I don't watch our see me behind. So I'ma hit the gas. Feel like they first and I'm always the last. I need to relax before I relapse. What if I never get the chance to have a family and treat them the best? I swear I'm tired of life's demands. I'ma do what I can. song absolutely love it but i don't know if i can listen to it on a regular basis just because of that screaming from the kid it just it just pulls you right out right like you you, you want to be in the song and enjoying it and yet yeah the the pain of the kid screaming is so raw and so real that it 
just is too much. But holy crap, is that a good song. I mean, his performance on it is fantastic. I love the voice. Love his voice. Love it. it it's, it's perfectly well done. Just flat out nailed it. Uh, like the lyrics, basically, cat, that's my pencil. I actually kind of need to use that. Thank you. And, <laughs> Jesus Christ, can you please? Come on. Um, and the lyrics are great. It sounds like, uh, I assume, relatively young guy who probably, given the sample of the kids screaming about stuff, had maybe not the best... Uh, home life and maybe had some of that stuff happen in his past and so he's talking about growing up getting older uh, I got a lot on my mind been I've been moving too fast I don't want you all to see me behind so I'm gonna hit the gas uh, what did he say here what if I never get the chance to have a family and treat them the best uh, yeah, you may not get to have a family. I didn't. Uh, I mean, I have the family I was born into, but that's it. Um, I don't have kids. I don't currently have a wife. Uh, maybe. You are the nastiest beast ever, cat. Just fuck me. Um, and, uh, yeah, it sucks. Because it's something I always wanted in my life was to have kids and to be good to them and to try and make them do better than I did. Not make them, but give them the tools to do better than I did in life. Uh, and I, th I think, honestly, we're at a point in, for some people <laughs> who, who are, uh, I don't even, I'm not even going to say educated. I was going to say that. Uh, for, People who are able to reason and and understand that we have come so, so far, even just since I was a kid, when it comes to things like mental health and talking about it and uh, ADHD or however you want to refer to it, autism, uh, all these things that have an effect on every single person, because everybody's different, right? And everybody has... A different way of perceiving the world, interacting with the world, uh, we're at a point now where it is indeed possible to figure out what it is you're supposed to do, what you are good at, what you are passionate about, and you could probably do that for the rest of your life. And I would love to, to have had the opportunity to do that with kids of my own, uh, or stepkids, or whatever. Um, so yeah, I get what you're talking about here, and and I hope you get it, and I hope I hope the stresses of being a parent, which I do not uh, underestimate, um, don't bring out an aspect of your personality that was ingrained into you by a shitty childhood, because that stuff's not your fault, but you still have to deal with all that stuff and. The, the, the the modeling of behavior of hitting people, hitting your wife, hitting your kids, um, is something that may have been shown to you, and you may fall back on that, and that would be awful. So I hope that doesn't happen. I hope you are able to break that cycle, and I hope you're able to have kids, and I hope you're able to have a great time, and get everything you want out of life and you're doing fantastic fucking music so I hope you keep doing that too um really great stuff man I yeah I would absolutely listen to this again I just have a really hard time with the kids screaming because it's so like I said it's just so raw it's just so it makes it hard to get into the song it almost pushes you away from the song and uh, that's a little hard to deal with, but I love it. I absolutely love it. I think it's fantastically well made. Pop Squat. <laughs> Chicken. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much.